This week, I'm talking to Emily on the topic of dialogic teaching. So Emily, what is dialogic teaching? According to Alexander, 2010, dialogic teaching is an approach using talk, such as questioning and discussion, to stimulate and extend pupils' thinking and develop their learning and understanding of different topics. And how does dialogic teaching help children in their development? Vygotsky believed that children learn through spoken language in a social environment, and that by interacting with other, more knowledgeable people, they gain a better understanding of prior knowledge. This is known as cognitive scaffolding. Dialogic teaching aims to get children to understand their learning through questioning and exploratory discussions. All children are encouraged to participate by offering their opinions and ideas, and listening to others in the group, which helps them develop in confidence and even their social skills. This works with children with special educational needs too. Wow, so it sounds like a pretty useful tool to use in schools. But are there any limitations? Well, as it's a pretty active way of teaching, it can be difficult to control the class, especially when you need to bring focus back to you and the children aren't listening. Also, teachers need to create the right kind of environment within the classroom in order for the discussion to flow. For example, you could do a circle time. Barnes, 2008, also says that it can be quite hard to fully grasp exactly what the children understand just from questioning. So overall, not much that teachers couldn't overcome. Tell me, how do you assess children's learning through this method of teaching? Teachers could assess children's learning through their participation. If a child is participating more than others, you would assume that they have a slightly better understanding. However, this is not always the case. Another way you could assess is through observations and recording what each child says. This can then be compared to targets. The good thing about teaching through talk is that you can give feedback instantly, orally or written. Oh, if only assessment wasn't necessary. What other roles does the teacher hold in this discussion-based le lesson? The teacher's role is mainly to facilitate the flow of the conversation and to step in if it starts to dry up. They can also model the type of discussion so that the children know what is expected of them. Points may be made that children may need to clarify, so they're also there for guidance and support. And of course, for assessing the children's progress and to give feedback. Wonderful. So a nice laid-back lesson for the teachers too. Finally, can you possibly tell us anything more about dialogic teaching? Yes, I can. Dialogic teaching originates from Socrates, who conducted a philosophical dialogue where the teacher and student shared a joint inquiry where neither knew the answer. It was to promote critical thinking and inquiry. He believed that the process was more important than the outcome. My Hill, 2006. Alexander, 2010, states that there are five principles that make up dialogic teaching. These are 1 that it's collective, all the pupils learn together. Two, it's reciprocal, everyone shares their ideas. Three, it's supportive, children are able to share ideas without fear. Four, it's cumulative, children can build up ideas into coherent lines of thinking. And five, it's purposeful. It is a planned and structured discussion, but it's open and dialogic. Thank you, Emily. Any last comments? Only that, I really support this kind of lesson as I feel that children are all actively involved and that they benefit from the chance to develop their communication and social skills. Children also grow in confidence while practicing their critical thinking, reasoning and questioning skills in a safe and supportive environment.